Alright, so I just thought I'd do a quick video and show you how to replace the engine oil in uh, in your Briggs and, Briggs, brand new Briggs and Stratton uh, engine. So basically you're going to need a container, you're going to need something that is capable of holding 600 mil. So 600 mil is how much oil should be in your engine. So just, yeah. Remember that, don't I, I did this once and my container wasn't big enough and I had oil going everywhere. Uh, there was a big patch on the ground here still from that. So uh, I'll put a rag underneath here just in case I've got any spillage. Uh, it soaks it up quickly. Um, so it's, this is simple guys. Uh, uh, on the back of the engine here, so there'll be a, a um, oil inspection uh, port. It's, it's generally a, a yellow cap, so if you unscrew that, tip the mole back, all the oil is going to, to pour out that hole into, the, into your catch. Uh, and then I will also remove, there's the same thing with the uh, engine oil cap at the front. So I'll remove that, and what that does is just allows in, air to get in the engine, so the uh, oil comes out the back hole a lot quicker. So uh, I'll show you. Okay, so I'll let that drain uh, for a minute or two. While, I'm, while that's draining, uh, new engine oil. So SAE30 engine oil, uh, it's for a four stroke motor. So this is a four stroke motor. Uh, how you can tell if it's four stroke or a two stroke is basically all two strokes will not have a, an oil cap. Basically the oil is mixed in with the fuel and that's how the engine gets its lubrication. So uh, four stroke, Engine oil, uh, different parts of the world use different weights of oil. Uh, here in Brisbane, Australia, I'm using SAE30, it's my standard. Uh, I think the difference between weights and all that sort of stuff comes down to the climate that you live in. So, uh, for example, in America, they have uh, seasons, a lot, well, a lot more than uh, Australia, uh, where it uh, snows and everything freezes, etc., etc. Uh, so, the thickness of the oil depends on how, uh, how cold and hot the climate is, really. So, I'll get that, I'll grab a funnel and I'll uh, grab a measuring jug. So, we need 600ml of new oil, goes into the engine. Uh, once we've done that, it's just a matter of tipping that into the engine uh, and we're good to go. So. So, I'll pop my rear oil cap in, just screw that in, it's got an o-ring on there, that seals, uh, seals it so the oil doesn't come out, tighten that down, I will pour the new oil in from the uh, the front engine cap. So I'm just gonna quickly clean my jug because there's all sorts of stuff in there. So give me one minute. Okay, so clean jug, very important. You don't wanna be introducing uh, any foreign materials into your engine. Uh, that could be catastrophic. So we'll open here, new oil. So this is a 500 mil uh, Jug, so I'll, I'll, I'll add 500 mil, tip that all in there, and then uh, I'll add another 100 mil. So that'd be a 600 mil. Bye. 
Toronto, so we don't have spillage. So 100 more mil. So basically I will sort of tip the mail back a little bit. That gives me a little relief uh, here. So if I do overfill it slightly, you don't, you don't want to overfill it. It, it. it puts a lot of strain on your engine. So uh, just be cautious. I'll tip that in there. Basically a good way of telling if you have overfilled it is when your engine's sitting flat. So currently it's not because uh, I've got my rear uh, the front roller up a little bit so the engine's not flat uh, but if the engine was sitting flat say on a bench you basically want to fill the oil to the lip of this uh, filling point um, if you overfill it you'll take that off you'll have oil going everywhere you know that you've overfilled it um, basically that lip there is how they make the engine if you put too much oil in there it comes out so uh, different motors, I think Hondas, Briggs, they're all different, so just make sure you check to see how much oil you need in your engine. Right up, so 600 mils in. On this uh, particular engine cap now, they don't all have this, uh, it's got a uh, um, uh, what do you call that? It, uh, it's sort of a gauge to tell you the oil level. So when you put that in there and remove it, you'll actually see on the gauge where your oil level's sitting. So that's a handy little feature. But not all engines have that. Um, basically, you just look down the hole, you'll see if you've got oil there or not. Tighten that bad boy up and let's go and start it.